Good afternoon, YouTubers. Here we are. This is the video number four, expanding the Arduino Uno memory using static RAM. Uh, I certainly can use SD card for my uh, data logger project. However, I want to use static RAM. I want to entertain that uh, with, with this, this concept of using static RAM and uh, instead of using uh, the SD card and the problems associated with it. So, I mean, the idea is that I want to see if I can bridge this with a static RAM. So, like, a Dustin's Destiny. Look, I'm your father. Sorry for that. <laughs> Good on. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's do what we have to do. So, the idea is how are we going to add this static RAM to an Arduino is so limited amount of pins. Uh, let's put this on this mode and uh, right there. So let's move to the next slide. Here is where we are. Uh, An Arduino has about 14 input output pins, but actually pin number zero and number one are kind of dedicated for transmitting or receiving data like a from a serial monitor. So you don't want to, uh, you know, help that those two within your project. You want to leave those two free for communication. So that goes down from 14 pins, you only have 12 to do what you have to do, all right? By saying that, here is the issue. Uh, the issue is that if you want to handle, like for example, control a 32K memory, you need to talk about 15 pins on this side, plus three more for control lines, plus the A input output uh, pins. Uh, that's about 26 total pins. And as I said, you only have 12 basically available. So how would you do that? Well, again, I have explained this before, but just for completeness to have this video number four, you know, like self-sustain on the concept, I'm using the concept by Bellamy uh, that he used uh, three 595 chips, chip registers to control 24 LEDs and it worked perfect. <clears throat> so I think this will do the trick that we want, at least to control the addresses of the memory RAM, plus it will control also the uh, control lines. And how, uh, we will, and how we will do that, let's see like this, like for example, I am gonna use only two chips, two 595, because in essence, I wanna, you know, try to build this one step at a time. And uh, with two chips, I will be able to control about 13 lines because from the 16 lines that I have here on two chips, the last three lines will be used to control the control lines of my uh, RAM memory. With only 13 lines, uh, that if you take a look to this table, that will be able to control about 8K of memory, okay? And uh, to control the whole 32, then I will have to add a third, <clears throat> a third chip, a third 595. But that would be in another uh, occasion, not now. For today, we only have two chips, one allies, to control the 13 lines and the three lines from this uh, binary file will be used for control. That allows me to have three pins for, uh, to con from the Arduino to control the binary file and eight pins for the data, input output data. That's 11 pins. That's right, one below uh, the chip, uh, the Arduino limitation, which is great. I mean, as the way it is set out now, it will work. Having the 595 controlling the addresses and the uh, control logic for the, when you wanna write information into the RAM and when you wanna read information from the RAM. So that will work out fine now. I have done this, at least part of it. I start with a Tinkercad simula simulator. That was the first video. Just to understand how the 595 really works, just to ensure that I understand all 
that is into it. Uh, then I moved to 2595, understand the process of, you know, uh, clocking data in so I can control LEDs and so forth. Uh, sort of like Bellamy did on his actual uh, project. And uh, so on the third video, then I decided that is, we are ready to put uh, uh, a RAM memory. So I select the 62256, that's a 32K memory. Uh, again, we only be using about 8K from this total, just because I'm using 2595. And the important aspect of it, and you will see in a second, that you have to put uh, uh, the, the control lines have to be set in, a certain, in such a way to ensure that you can write or read information properly. Like for example, <clears throat> if I put a sequence one, zero, one, one being the most significant bit, on, this is on the second finality file, so that would be one zero one, that's a recycle. If I write zero one one, that's a write cycle, see? And that's how this will work. So one of the things that you will quickly discover is that Tinkercad is good for kind of small Arduino project, but when you get to this sort of, you know, almost like, I would say not humongous, but getting close to it, then you have to graduate to uh, another simulator. In this case, I'm using a Proteus simulator. After tinkering with it for a few hours, I was able to understand the logistic of it. <clears throat> what can what can it you know what can this simulator will do for you, and so forth. And I really like it. Uh, for example, I was able to add the memory and to understand the process of writing data, you know, what is the sequence, the actual sequence, how you're going to write it, and the actual sequence about how to read. Uh, to write, it was a little bit more complex. You have to, you know, to accommodate the fact, uh, and that has to do with, uh, you know, the 256 read and write cycle data sheets. And you can, I think I explained that in the video number three. This is video number four which is for actually running the simulation in our in I'm um, actually running the simulation in the in Proteus. As I said, I download a version of Proteus, uh, play with it a little you know, to understand what's going on behind it. And I come out with all this what you have here. Basically the two 595 as I did in Tinkercad. I add the RAM memory and I add a bunch of circuit here. Uh, which is just to get data in, uh, you know, uh, with a regular push button. And uh, I also add uh, a binary counter, extremely hard to understand <clears throat> the business of clocking. You don't know, you don't have something that tells you how many times you have clocked a given information. Remember, we are doing all this manually meaning data in clock and buffer out. Uh, it's easy to screw up the information and you get crazy. So the idea again is to do this manually, but to establish what is the actual procedure of writing information into the RAM and what is the, actual, the, 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 the sequence that we need to put into the Arduino to read from the RAM. Uh, so, so this is the idea, zero, one, zero, meaning that this being the most significant bit, zero, one, zero, put this, it changed, right? From zero, one, zero, so you have a zero, one, zero, it will change to, uh, due to this inverter here. Um, there's a story behind this inverter and this kind of pull up resistor that I have here as well. Uh, the idea behind this, is to ensure that when you power the Arduino up, uh, the RAM memory is sort of in a disabled state. So uh, very hard to cor corrupt, <clears throat> corrupt the information. So you wanna be, you wanna be sure that your data uh, in, within the RAM is preserved. So 
having the pull up resistor and the inverter will ensure that that when you power up the Arduino, you are in a disabled state mode. Um, let's see, anything else to say? Uh, oh, I was saying something about this, the, 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 the writing sequence. I start with a 010, the address, right? And then move to 011. When you put 011, obviously, the output enable will go high, but the chip enable and write enable will be low because they are active low. And that's when you write information. When you put back 000, meaning 111 after the inverter, so the chip will go, I mean, the RAM memory will go to a, a disabled state. Uh, and this is how it works. So if you want to add, uh, you know, uh, address, another address, <laughs> and put uh, in information, you just repeat first step, sort of like a write enable, but the chip is not enabled. Then when it goes to a second step, then you have uh, write enable and chip enable low, so they are active, and then you move back to uh, a disabled state. And this is how, uh, and this is how it will work for writing information. Reading, straightforward. It's just write 101 <clears throat> as the initial logic code, and then the address, and, uh, and you hit the buffer out information, and, uh, and uh, you have the right logic here, and you will have the address and ensure when you are reading that all these push buttons are like the way shown here in the up state, all right? So they don't interfere with the information that is within your RAM, on a, or in other words, you avoid collision between what, when you are reading from the RAM with the status of this push button here, all right? So that's how I will do this. And at this point, I guess that uh, we are ready to rumble, actually to do this simulation in Arduino the way it is shown. Uh, actually, not the simulation in Arduino, but the simulation in Project. Sorry for that. So that's what we're going to do. Let me stop here for a second. So here we are, uh, the Proteus simulation of my uh, hope. I will work with the RAM memory. Let's start the simulation right here. And I really like Proteus. Proteus give you a lot of feedback of, of what's going on. Like for example, give you the status of the line. Blue color meaning off, red meaning on. Uh, for example, here the control line is very important, meaning that this chip, the way it is right now, uh, is on disabled state, the RAM memory is in disabled state, and that's very important. When you start off the, your Arduino, you want to be sure that you don't corrupt the information within the uh, RAM memory. Uh, so I have this pull up resistor, plus I have this inverter chip to ensure that yes, when I, when, I, when I want to read or write something to the chip, it's because I want to, not because there's something we are happening and you end up corrupting the information within the chip. So, Let's see, let's read something. Let's start easy. Read sequence is very easy. You just need to send a control line 101 and the uh, address. Uh, obviously, when you are reading, you want to have all these switches uh, sort of the way they are. Uh, so they're being kind of hooked to this uh, clock resistor here. And uh, so let's see. Uh, since we are starting, there's no information in the RAM. The RAM is should be like addresses here. I mean, sorry, but for all the addresses here would be zero, zero, zero. Everything would be on zero. So let's see. Let's see how this happens. This works. So let's read uh, memory number eight. So here I have this push button. You can see those are for resetting uh, master reset. This is the master reset for the uh, 7595. And this is sort of the reset for the binary counter as well. Uh, you have to have this chip, otherwise you get crazy. This is hard, uh, I tell you. You just mess with two memories and you are tired. Uh, let me finish. If you do it right, because this is sometimes you gotta do it several times because you might screw up somewhere along the line. So actually, let's do a reading sequence. 
for a reading sequence, let's start, I'm gonna read memory number um, number eight. That's uh, two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three, that's number eight. So let's do a, a reading se sequence. So that will be a one. The first thing that you wanna clock is a one, and then if I put this right, then you wanna click a zero, and then you wanna click a one, and now you wanna click uh, okay, nine zeros, so that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Up to there, I have clocked in 12 bits, yeah, right here. Uh, two to the three plus two to the two, that's 12 bits. Now I need to clock a one and three zeros, so that means a one, now three zeros. One, two, three, three, sixteen. Perfect. When I push this, I should when I buffer this information out, this will go to a read mode. Read mode meaning a chip should be enabled, should be low, right enabled. No, I'm not writing, I should still be high, and the output enabled should be low, active low. Good. So let's buffer that out and bingo. We got address number A, everything is in the off mode. Everything is off, we, we haven't written anything yet to the memory. So you can check any other address, but for me that's more than enough, I don't want to do this twice. So that's the read mode. Let's write something to that, to that memory. Uh, so to write something to a memory, you gotta go with this idea here of zero, one, zero. Or, or like for example, this could practice just to write the memory always to the level of disable the that uh, ship, to disable the ship. So let's put, uh, let's reset this. And now let's clock uh, 12 zeros and, uh, and one zero, 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 that's okay. So let's clock 12 zero, that means one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's it, perfect. I'm here, share it. Yeah, okay. Now, clock at one. Oops, get it on. There we go. And now, clock three zeros. One, two, three. It's 16. So when I hit the buffer, there we go. Chip is enabled. Disable, sorry, keep it totally disabled, but I'm still having this address number A, address number A. If I wanna write an information, now is the time to set up the data here. And the data is 111, so that means, um, let's see, the most significant bit is this one here, this one. So I look for this, and that's one, and then that should be a one, that should be a one, that should be a one. The less four, the less four bit are less significant is this one, this one, this one, this one. Let's see if I can pick it up. Okay. So I got one, 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 zero, 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 zero. Perfect. And that's the information that I have. Uh, according to this um, writing step or writing step sequence, I have to put a zero, one, zero. So let's write that down. Zero one zero let's reset this guy and let's write this zero oops i love zero one and zero zero one zero and now a bunch of zero nice zero just to be exact that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Twelve bits. Yeah. And now a one. And now three zeros. One, two, three. It's sixteen. Perfect. Hit the buffer. Right enable. See, the only thing that I need now is the chip enable to get this data into memory number eight. So I repeat now this step here. So it's zero, we set this guy. Now I need a zero. 
now I need these two ones. A bunch of zeros, that's nice zeros. One, two, three. Good, memory right. Now a one. And now three zeros. Three, 16, perfect. Buffer that out. There we go. Chip enable, write enable, and the memory number eight. And this is the information. The next step is to put, to put the memory in the disabled state so you don't corrupt anything else. So let's do that. Uh, that means we set this guy, and now let's see three zeros. Uh, all zeros, actually. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That was twelve zeros. Now a one. A one, zero, 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 a one. Press this. One. Press out. Three zeros. The sixteen. Perfect. Now hit this one. There we go. We are in a good state. Now disable state. RAM is in the disable state. That's memory number eight. Now let's read what we already wrote into it. So for that, since we are in the disable state, we gotta push this um, push button. Dot do not interfere the writing, the reading cycle. So they are all in the on state. But now we're gonna read memory number eight. So to read, it's just simple like this, and we should be uh, home free. Well, let's see. We set this guy, and now let's read. So that's a one, that's a zero, that's a one, and now a bunch of nice zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bit number 12, perfect. Now a one. And now three zeros. One, whoops. One, two, three. The 16, perfect. When I hit this, the address will stay, but now the output enable should go low, and so the chip enable low, but the right enable will be so I'm not writing. Let's see. Perfect. That's precisely the data that I put in. I put a one, 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 zero, 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 zero. That's precisely what is here. See, that's the data in. All right, so uh, let's read another memory. Let's read memory number nine. Memory number nine, let me set a bunch of stuff here just to be sure that I'm, I start fresh I would be 101 meaning uh, what's going on with this clap is somehow it's on the that's number one I hope if not somehow the clap was kind of hit let's start fresh again and uh, so that's the one first clock okay this up now I need a zero, and now um, a one, and uh, one, one, it's hard man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it, good, now I need a one, zeros God, I'm going to be reading uh, memory number eight actually sorry memory number nine so that means that I need to put a one here at the end there we go be 16 excellent now all this is in the up state will not bother so let's see perfect that's what I have in memory number nine nothing nothing because I haven't written anything into it uh, if I want to read, for example, back again, memory number A, again, it's just ensure 
that you hit the uh, the right sequence. So that would be one zero one. That would be one uh, something like one zero one, and then one two three four five six seven eight nine. That's the number one, and then three zeros. One oops. One two three. Bit sixteen. Offer out. Bingo. You had the, the right information that you put that you wrote in original. Let's say that we want to write uh, another memory. Let's say memory number nine. Just for writing, uh, remember, you is good. It's always good to leave or start with uh, something like this. Like, you know, that in a disabled state, that the chip is under a disabled state, and that will do. We will play a trick here. Let's see. If I wanna, I can, right now, I can, I will try to read again, memory number one, actually memory number nine, sorry. I'm gonna be reading memory number nine, I see what happened. So that means I need the one here and the one here. We did this already, we know we will, it will work. But from that reading, then, uh, uh, well, the more I think about it now, nah, let's do this. Let's disable the chip, write in this, this uh, instead of zero here, putting a one here because it's gonna be memory number nine. So that means 12 zeros at a row, we set this guy and let's do it. So that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right there. Now put the one, two zeros, and a one. Yes, go. Bit 16. Now I hit this. Um, disable the chip. Everything. This was. Uh, this is being controlled by the pull up resistor because I. I don't have. I'm not using the push button. But now it's in disabled state. So now it's time to put uh, this information. Actually, actually, for memory number nine, I have this information. So it's a one. Uh, see. Uh, see if I can get it. Zero. It's a one. Zero is a one. Zero. So, uh, yeah, right. One zero one zero one. Uh, let's see if I do it right now. One zero one zero one zero one. Oops. Uh, let's see. This thing is the other way around. So many random lines. So let's see how it goes. So it's a one, zero, one, zero. This should be one, that's perfect. Zero, one, zero. One, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. That's it. I got that right information. Sorry for the confusion. So now I have the data. Now I need to go through this sequence. So that means zero, one, one to get this right for data number nine. And we start. So zero, we leave this on the on, uh, off state. And now that is a zero. And then I need to clap two ones. One, one. Now clock nine zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's six bit twelve, yeah. And now I need a one. Two zeros, remember, because we are writing these, two zero and a one. Two zeros. Hit the one now. It's sixteen. Buffer that out, if I can hear it, there we go. Cheap enable, right enable. Excellent, and that's what I have. I wrote that information into address number nine. All right, so uh, 
let's disable the ship again. Uh, when we disable the ship, let's do a bunch of zero so that we don't mess with the information and uh, use the same address. So let's, let's use the same address. So that means that we set this. And uh, so I'm gonna clock four zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Perfect, 12 zeros. And now the next things that you wanna do is put the address. So that's so gonna be a one. zeros and a one bit 16 there we go chip is totally disabled now you can do whatever you want here but since we want to be reading uh we want to get this up oops there we go uh everything is by the uh, pull-up resistor, so we are in good shape. Now, uh, the final step here is let's be sure that we can read. I mean, we apply this reading sequence, so we know that this is what put in memory number nine, and we know that this is what was put in memory number eight. Let's start by memory number eight. Okay, then we put this up, we reset the binary counter, and we need a one, Zero, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was twelve, and then one zero zero zero. Then one, one, two, three, the sixteen. When I hit this, I should see this. Let's see. There we go. Four zeros and the ones. There we go. One, 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 zero, 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 zero. Less significant, zero. Most significant is a one right here, this data. One, this is the data. That is on memory number eight. Now let's read memory number nine. It should be, a, it should be like this. Let's do it. So for reading memory number nine, I apply the same concept here. Uh, to do that, uh, let's reset the binary counter. And uh, let's start with this, setting this to one. It. So that would be one, zero, one, and now hit uh, nine, nine, nine zeros in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now hit, uh, hit uh, two, uh, actually I'm reading, if I recall, yeah, reading memory number nine, sorry for that, memory number nine. So meaning I need a one here, but now I need two zeros. Now I'm ready to press memory number nine. There we go, 16 bits, perfect. Hit it. One, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, excellent. Well, folks, that's more than enough that I can. Uh, really uh, do by by now uh, you know pressing this push button just a pain uh, but get get the idea demonstrate it this this is how it was done in the past I mean uh, it was hard but that's in fact uh, there's a book by uh, David L Hazelman how to build your own self programming robot this was back in, I don't know, in the 80s. And uh, uh, this book uh, tells you how to program. Well, actually, yeah, 1979. This is, uh, this is the, the date of this book. It was printed, 1979. And that's, that's how he programmed the robot in this book, by switches. It was hard. Uh, but again, now, uh, I'm using this simulator, which is kind of cool. Uh, reminds me in the day that I that I used to do this by hand. Pain, the pain, really hard. But anyway, I hope that you.
you have enjoyed uh, this adventure. Again, this is the fourth video and, uh, in how to add uh, uh, RAM memory to an Arduino. Again, I'm using uh, 32K memory, but gonna be used as an AK only. So I'm only using 2595. And in the fifth video, I'm gonna substitute finally uh, the, this uh, push button, all this push button by using uh, the Arduino. Actual Arduino driving all those push button and a bunch of stuff will disappear from here and everything will be, will be looking better. Again, thank you for your attention. I appreciate it. Have a good afternoon.